everyone in this video we are going to learn about repository pattern repository pattern is used to create an abstraction layer between the data access layer and the business logic layer repository directly communicates with the data access layer and gets the data provides it to the business logic layer the main advantage of to use repository pattern to isolate the data access logic and business logic so that if you make changes in any of this logic that cannot affect directly on the other logic in the another word you can say that a repository is nothing but a class defined for an entity with the all operation possible of that specific entity just take example uh, create one database just right click the database create a new database like a employee DB. I create the table, right click on the table and one table you are going to create. That is a employee ID and make a primary key, then first name and last name. This two column going to create. This one will be with the employees and identity column will be the employee ID. Save it. So here I have created that one table that is a db dot employees table. Okay. With that three fields. Employee ID is the auto number, then first name, then last name. Now open the Visual Studio, create a new project, select the web, sv.net web application and web app, repository pattern, click on OK. Select that empty template and MVC project. Click on OK. In this video, we are going to learn about one repository per entity. As this type of implementation involves the use of one repository class for each entity. Just like say, here, I am going to add that employee. So this one will be the one entity and another table if I am going to create one more table like a customer that will be the another entity. So right click and add that entity framework. Select of data, entity model and right line, employer, db model. Click on add. Next. Click on new connection and copy the server name. That will be the paste it here. Then SQL connection. Then username is SA, password. And select the database. Employee DB. Click on OK. Yes. Make a name. So that entity's name is Employee DB Entities. Okay. Just copy this name. Click on Next. Then select the table. That is a Employee table. And click on Finish. Now that EDMX file will generate. Now you can see here that EDMX file has been generated. 
that with that uh, table name is imply that imply id first name and last name now we are going to create that repository we will create one folder that is a repository folder that repository repository folder now i'm going to add one interface that interface because this one one repository per entity so i'm going to create first one will be the i i imply repository right click on okay so make a public this one now here we're going to uh, create that method with the all possible operation just like uh, add so add will be that here we're going to pass employee object obj employee and next one will be that it will return that list of employee so going to write list of employee get all employee okay. next one will be the update so it will be the employee obj then employee next one can be possible that delete also so white delete will also return that employee or you can write like an employee id okay then one time it will happen it will return only object so get employee by employee id that it will be employee id okay now going to create one employee repository one class that is will be the employee repository so add here employee repository going to call that i employee repository implement configs now here we have added that all those implementation now create one controller at add controller let make it like a home controller In the employee repository, we are going to create the constructor. It will be the employee repository. Here, going to write like uh, that that entity that is employee DB entities. Okay. Then will be say employee DB entities and make it parameter constructor that is it imply db entities let's assign okay now just take an example for this one i'm going to add so what we'll do this one dot implies dot add that will be the object and you can write like a object reply the shape changes this one is the now in the home controller same one we are going to create like employee db entities 
obj employee db entities going to create one constructor to create object of employee db entities equal to new employee db entities in the home controller just uh, write a dummy data create the employee object obj employee equal to new employee Employee ID will be the auto number, then first name. First name make it a take and second name. Sorry, last name will be the tuition. T U I T I U one. Now here going to call the employee repository. Employee repository on the employer create the object of employee repository and here actually is looking that entities so ask these entities okay then call the add method so add method you have to pass this object employer some dummy data Add the view. Click on add. Because here I am passing that a some dummy data. So this one, this imply repository, this you can see here, it's uh, coming the the between of the data access layer or your business logic. So this is the business logic, and here you are writing that repository pattern so this one is coming that between that your business logic and data access layer because uh, the traditional way is that uh, we uh, we are we are doing like a directly we are calling that this one this particular entities and directly we are trying to add because same just we look that what we were doing in traditional way we are doing like a this dot implies dot adds okay we were calling like that so that is a traditional way so same dummy data if you look at here so we were doing like this uh, we are passing directly that object so this is for a traditional way okay this is a traditional way now we am have created that middle tier architecture that is a employer re repository let's run the application same way because uh, in that interface we can write that all the possible operation so here you can see that we have written that all the possible operation here like a add and get all implies then update delete and that imply that particular simple particular object with the filter with the employee id we can do like that So what we have done till now, first uh, we have created database with that employees table and second one is that uh, we have created like a, uh, one repository folder. Inside of repository folder I have created that I employee repository then employee repository. So that I employee repository is implementing that I employee repository and in the business logic we are writing that. We are calling that, but 
employer repository. So now here you can see that it's not directly connecting to the database. In the next video we will learn generic repository. Thanks for watching.